Hi all. I got two lenses on my hands, Sigma 21 4DG HSM Art and Sigma 21 4DG DN Art, respectively, I will call HSM Old, DN New. Lenses are supplied in such cases, they are included. Despite the fact that the new version is smaller in size, the cover from it is for some reason larger. Let's get acquainted with the lenses visually. The old version has a non-removable hood and a convex front lens, so you can't install filters on it, and it also has a lid that doesn't have latches, it falls off easily. If you take this lens out of the bag, then the cover can often remain inside the bag, which can even sometimes be convenient. Of the features of this lens, there is an autofocus switch from the sharpness zone scale. The new version has a removable conventional hood, like all lenses. You can set the filter to 82mm. There is also an autofocus switch. Programmable button. Switch between step and silent aperture. Lock switch between camera iris control or lens iris control. Switch to turn off the focus ring in manual focus mode. You can also install a filter on the back of the lens. There is a button on the hood, like on all modern Sony or Sigma lenses, so that it is convenient to remove and install the hood and at the same time it is securely held. By the way, with a lens hood, the new lens is not particularly smaller than the old one, perhaps even more, since the lens hood is wider. The weight of the new lens is significantly less than that of the old one. If the old lens weighs a little more than a kilogram, then the new one weighs a little more than 600 grams and exactly 700 grams if you install a hood and caps on it. Separately, I would like to note that the new lens is much wider than the old one, partly due to the strong focus breathing effect, but even at the minimum viewing angle it is still wider than the old lens. Center sharpness is good for both lenses. Sharpness around the edge is much better on the new lens, even if you stop the aperture on the old lens, it is unlikely that you will be able to achieve such good results as on the new one. Chromatic aberration is much better on the new lens than on the old one. The light transmission in the center of the frame is the same for both lenses. But due to the stronger vignetting, the new lens is much darker than the old one. At the same time, on the old lens, vignetting completely disappears at aperture 4, on the new lens, Vignetting is significantly observed at any aperture value. Bokeh is quite difficult to compare due to the different viewing angles. But two things I noticed for myself. The first is that the new Sigma has a less pronounced effect of onion rings, and the second point I will mention a little later in the pictures in real conditions. 
but it is directly related to our next test, the coma test. The fact is that on the old lens the coma is very pronounced and, as far as I know, they didn't really like to use it for astrophotography, the new lens does not have this problem at all. The new Sigma even without a hood holds the contrast a little better, but when glare occurs, on the new version they may not have very beautiful shapes, at least on the old one I like them a little more. The minimum focusing distance of the new lens is less, despite the fact that, as I said earlier, it has a wider angle than the old one. The focus breathing of the new lens is worse than the old one. It is very noticeable, while the old lens had almost none. Autofocus is better with the new lens better in photos and videos. In the photo, the difference is not so big, the old lens also focuses quite quickly, but nevertheless, the new lens focuses slightly faster. Autofocus on video, as I said earlier, is better, but here the difference is already much more noticeable. On the old lens, in certain situations, the subject falls out of focus significantly. Let's get back to the subject of bokeh. In real shots, the coma effect indicated earlier plays an interesting role, because thanks to it, the bokeh on the old lens with such portrait shots looks more interesting to me. With a slight zoom effect, deeper and with an emphasis on the center. But if you want to maintain sharpness across the entire field of the frame, then the new lens will win. If there is clothing or grass at the edge of the frame, then it is often washed out too. And this bokeh zoom effect does not look good on all photos. If we evaluate these two lenses as a whole, then in my opinion they are both excellent. If I hadn't bought a new lens already, I probably wouldn't have bought it, as both of these lenses have their strengths. As I said on the old lens, I like bokeh in certain situations more, vignetting, focus breathing. At the same time, the new lens gives better sharpness and autofocus, as well as unlimited possibilities when using filters. Thanks for watching the video, 
in the description under the video you can find a link to the JPEG and RAW files used in the video.